Once again, I'd like to introduce the father of the bride, Kirk Pavlich. Thank you, Jim, and thanks to all of you for being here. Um, just starting off with a welcome. I gotta tell you, as you look out at a room like this, it is overwhelming and humbling to see the amount of people that have come out here for Rachel and John. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Now, when it comes to a welcome from the father of the bride, the advice I got was, don't say a lot, nobody's here to see you, they're here to see these guys. But I do want to say a couple things about the newlyweds um, and congratulate them as well. Rachel being our, our first child, uh, always had the opportunity to do everything first, go to school first, try out softball first and soccer and some clubs and activities that she really, really liked and some that she didn't. And through it all, she always did things that really set the bar for her siblings back in Jonathan. She was the trailblazer, she was the leader, uh, she showed them how it was done, and, and she was an awesome big sister to them, um, and I know they'd give her a round of applause as well right now at this table here. Another thing she did first was she was the first Pavlich kid that went to a school where her dad worked. And it was also the new town of new North Royalton, a new school, and she had to go around and tell everybody that her dad was the principal. So that was hard enough in itself, but through it all, she always had a great attitude. She always had a smile on her face. She always had that upbeat personality that all of you that are here that love her know that she is. That's the way she was in our family, and we love her for that. We're so proud of her tonight. Now I want to tell you where John comes into the story with this. So Rachel decided um, her junior year of high school that she wanted to check out a school in Nashville, Tennessee. And yeah, Nashville, give a, give a round of applause for Nashville. And I went down on that visit with her and I knew within about two seconds that was the place she loved and that was the place where she was going to end up going to college and I was right and that's, that's what happened. So fast forward, she goes to her freshman year. She's trying to meet people there. She, some of her, her first friends, first roommates are here tonight as well. And she's getting to know them and getting to know what Lipscomb University is all about. And I wasn't sure if that was the place for her that freshman year. But I can tell you, when I went to pick her up at the end of freshman year, and she introduced me to this young man right here to her right, John Tomlinson, that same feeling I had when I knew that she loved Nashville and that was going to be the place for her, I knew that John was going to be the person for her as well. Picked it up really, really quickly. All of you, as you look around your tables, you've got places where they've been, things they've done, pictures of them. And the thing that I have to say is they are a perfect complement for each other. Uh, Rachel might not remember this. She told me one time when she was describing their relationship with each other, she said, think of it like a car. John is kind of like the gas pedal, and I'm kind of like the brakes. And I listened to that, and I watched them, and I watched how they interact with each other, and I said, yeah, that's, that's a perfect compliment. The, the love they have for each other, the love they have for their friends, their family, you know, I look forward to many, many happy years together. So I know there's some other toasts coming up, but I'm going to do the first one. So, if you have a drink in your hand, I'm going to have the first toast for the newlyweds here, for John and Rachel, for lots of love, lots of happiness, and lots of prosperity throughout a long life together. Cheers to John and Rachel. Love you too. Congratulations, you guys. Delight. This time I'd like to introduce the best man, Daniel Tomlinson. <laughs> nice, my fan club. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to Julian Kirk. Um, this day has been incredible and beautiful, and we just thank you so much. So, round of applause for Julian Kirk. So for those of you who don't know me, uh, I, I'm, my name is Daniel. I am John's brother and best man. 
Um, John, it's obviously true that mom and dad saved the best for last. Just kidding, uh, that was me, you were an accident, so. Sorry about it, buddy. But here we are today. <laughs> to celebrate the wedding of John and Rachel. Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. Well, you know something? I think you guys are metals. Gold medals. Just for you, buddy. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, if you know my brother at all, uh, you know how passionate of a man he is. Uh, I will never forget, John was probably in like first grade and had, in typical Tomlinson fashion, waited until the night before a project was due to let us all know that he had a, a project due the next day. Um, around nine o'clock, we were, we were finishing the project and our older brother Andrew came down the stairs uh, and was just laughing and going on with everyone as John finished. Um, in a matter of moments, John went from laughing and going on with everyone to sobbing real tears uh, which led to this phrase that's lived on forever in my family, that is, John, choose an emotion. <laughs> but today, John, and Rachel, the emotion that we all choose is one of endless love and support for the two of you. In that same vein of feeling emotions deeply, John loves and cares endlessly. Uh, when I was in third grade, I was having orthodontic work done and was one night after an appointment in a lot of pain. Uh, so much so that I could not eat the microwaved mashed potatoes that were seated in front of me. And John spent that whole family dinner just trying to make me laugh so that I would feel something other than the pain in my mouth from some extensive orthodontic work. Um, and if John finished by saying every, every little goofy thing, he said, funny John, funny John. And John cares just so much for the people around him that he would do anything just to keep any of us from feeling, feeling that pain. Growing up with John was awesome. Uh, my mom had four sons, uh, two older, one younger. Peace out. Speaking of which, uh, got you all beat. I'm up here. <laughs> but Adam and Andrew were 19 months apart. John and I were about 30 months apart. Um, and this was the best because it was like having a built-in best friend uh, co-Lego builder, uh, Nerf gun and airsoft war opponent, uh, video game partner, and pretty much just anything that led to us shooting each other in some capacity. And uh, I'm losing my spot here, which is totally on brand. And I'm endlessly thankful for those opportunities because of just how much easier it made growing up having a partner by my side the whole time. Now the two of you. I'm so proud of you two and all the things that you've done and gone through. Uh, you've gone through so much life together and there's, this is just the, next, the start of the next chapter. Uh, the way you two have drawn closer to each other, but more importantly to God, is just truly inspiring to all of us. Rachel, you look absolutely beautiful today um, and you light, up, you light up John's world. Um, I, I, knew, I could tell from the first time I met you that fall in Terre Haute, that John was so smitten. Um, you fit right into our family uh, and dealt with my mom asking hundreds of questions in like a five minute span, um, which is impressive. And you just didn't even miss a beat. And I'm so beyond happy to add you to the mix today. So lastly, Rachel, go ahead and place your, your hand on the table, palm down. Just like that, yep. John, you can go ahead and place yours right on top. You remember this moment right here, okay? You've taken a mental photo? Yep. This is the last time that you have the upper hand. <laughs> Let's raise a glass to John and Rachel. Love you. Come right here and give me a squeeze. Love you. Love you. I would now like to introduce Spain and Bonner, Becca Pell.
as most of you know, my name is Becca Pavlich, and I am lucky enough to be standing here as not only the sister of the bride, but one of her two maids of honors. I am privileged to have Rachel as my older sister and have known just how lucky I am to have her since I was younger. From the day I was born, I've had a constant companion. <laughs> I can't look at you. <laughs> an eager listener, a shoulder to cry on, and a role model. Rachel is my best friend, and life without her would be indescribable. From Barbie doll weddings in our basement to rewatching Katherine Heigl's 27 dresses over and over <laughs> and over again, I've been dreaming of Rachel's big day for as long as she probably has, and now we're finally here, so it's very surreal. For anyone who knows Rachel, um, you know that she loves with her whole heart and pulls in, pours into the people that she chooses. When she started telling me her at the end of her freshman year about her new friend at Lipscomb, the cute baseball-loving boy with a great sense of humor and a passion for the Lord, I knew she was a goner instantly. <laughs> um, and seeing how much the two of them have grown together in the past three years has been such a privilege. I, you started as this young, bright-eyed, and bushy-tailed couple, and you still have that same love and admiration for each other, and you can see it in the way you look at each other, but it's just been such a privilege to see how you've grown. John and Rachel balance each other in a way that I never saw coming, but like I said, anyone in the room can sense just how deep their love for one another goes. Even from the early beginnings, I could see how this story was going to end, and here we are, all gathered today, celebrating their marriage. I am so proud of my sister and thankful that she has found the person who will cherish her and celebrate her for the rest of her life, and John, I, I know you will do that. However, I didn't realize until now how much this is affecting me. There's a scene in one of my favorite movies, the 2019 adaptation of Little Women, where Jo is frantically speaking to her sister Meg the morning of her wedding, urging her to leave everything behind and run away with her and never leave one, each other's si one another's sides because they're sisters and they should say sisters forever. And Jo says, I can't believe childhood is really over. It was going to end one way or another, Meg replies, and what a happy end. <laughs> this is the happiest end we could have had, but I just want to say, Rachel, you are my constant, you are my home. Through every stage of life, you've been there to carry me, and I hope I am even a fraction of the sister to you that you are to me. I know that you and I will never stray from one another, no matter the distances between us or the new paths life takes us on. I want you to have every happiness this world has to offer, and I know that you and John will share in a beautiful life together. I am so thankful that I get to witness each step of it. So, if everyone could please raise your glass. <laughs> um, I'd, like to, <laughs> I'd like to make a toast to the newlyweds. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Um, may every moment of your life be centered in love and joy. And then a toast just to Rachel, my sister, my friend. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart for shaping me in ways you'll never understand. I love you forever. <laughs> Is that everything you hope for? And more? Oh. I know you will, John. Uh, I know that for a while. Probably since the first time you came to our car and like started packing up her mini fridge. <laughs> I love you. I don't know if I can. I think yeah. Do you want to hand it off to Anthony? Yes. I love you. Thank you. Great Thank you. I would now like to introduce Maid of Honor Ansley Mattingly. Hi, I'm Ansley, and I'm a friend of Rachel and John. Little did I know when I walked into Azel 107 at Lipscomb University just two and a half years ago for our first study abroad meeting that I would be meeting my best friend, the friend that I only dreamt of of meeting in college. Not only was I lucky enough to meet Rachel, but I met John on the same day, which he often reminds us of, and he quickly became like a big brother to me, even though I'm technically 20 days older. Sometimes I wonder how I lived my first 21 years of life without you both, but then I remember that God put you in both of my life at just the right time, for the time where there was the craziness in the last few years that that has brought. I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate you both 
than to list 10 things that I love about each of you. Rachel, I love how spontaneous you are with me, from finding our favorite gelato shop at 11 p.m. in Vienna to all of our random Target and Crumble runs here in the States. John, I love how you are always our voice of reason and help us think of all the tiny details during our moment of being ultra spontaneous, like when we almost booked a last minute spring break flight to Vienna this year. <laughs> Rachel, I love your kind hearted spirit and how you always think of others first. John, I love how you always try to make others laugh from yelling, yoo hoo, big summer blowout, <laughs> outside of our Vienna apartment window to making <laughs> random jokes on the daily. Rachel, I love how we constantly get Starbucks together. For real, we've been on hundreds, if not thousands, of Starbucks runs. Even through Tennessee's snow and ice, we still got our ice-cold Starbucks refreshers. John, I love how you try not to judge us for our Starbucks addic addictions, even if we get it twice, or three times in one day. Sometimes you even join along and have us pick you something up. Rachel, I love that we share a love for reality TV, from both loving 19 Kids and Counting when we didn't even know each other, to now loving The Bachelor, Amazing Race, and Survivor together. I'm going to miss rushing to the remote to turn on the TV two minutes before to watch Bachelor, but now we're only 10 minutes away from each other, so that's good. Um, even, I also loved binging the 10 seasons of Survivor during our COVID quarantine together. Even through the stress of waiting for test results, those few days in quarantine with you two, Watching Survivor were some of my fondest memories from junior year. Rachel, I love how we can always be so real with each other. From knowing when I'm having a rough day, listening to each other rant, and you knowing exactly how to make it better. One of my favorite memories was when you were crying in our dorm room, ranting about how John hadn't proposed yet, when little did you know it was happening less than 24 hours later. John, I love how you always push me to look at situations from different perspectives, always keeping my best interest in mind. John, I love how we team up to scare or prank Rachel together, from tickling her with Germex wipes on the way to Dublin, to tag teaming scaring her in the Brentwood apartment, to all the mini fake proposals. Rachel, I love how you always scream, take it so well, and then find a way to get me back. <laughs> Rachel and John, I love how you both have included me from the moment that you met and have never made me feel like a third wheel. From our sonic wheel runs late at night to talking about everything and anything that comes to mind. Rachel and John, I love you. I love how you both work through difficult situations as a team, through COVID quarantines, absolute insanity abroad, and wedding planning. I think you can make it through anything. Rachel and John, I love how you both love each other unconditionally and always put each other first. Lastly, I love that I have been able to see your relationship grow and develop from just dating a few months when we arrived in Vienna to now getting married. I can't wait to see your marriage continue to strengthen, and you know I'll always be your number one cheerleader. I love you both so much, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you two. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Tomlinson. Oh, <laughs> 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 